children, I am Khan, your health and physical education teacher. On behalf of BK Vision Academy, I welcome you all to my class. Okay children, today we are going to study about, let us play volleyball. Look at the video please. Okay children, hope you have enjoyed the video very much. Now, let's study the topic. Let us play volleyball. Let us play volleyball in brief. Children, you know there are many games in sports. There are minor games, four games, athletic events, lead up games and organized games. Okay children, now tell me which kind of game volleyball is? Who knows the answer? Anyone? Yes Amar, what is your answer? It is an organized game. Very good Amar. Yes, it is an organized game. Which means the game is well organized. It has a standard, a specific rules and regulations and the uh, specific ground. Uh, those which are approved by the World Volleyball Federation. Look at the video, please. Which is the national game of Sri Lanka? Anyone? What the ball is the national game of Sri Lanka? Very good. Now I give you a short description about volleyball. Right? Volleyball is an organized game which are played both girls and boys. Right? Also there are six skills in uh, volleyball. Right? They are, what are they? Saving, 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 receiving, receiving, receiving setting, 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 spiking, spiking blocking, and blocking, and, and finally, field defending. Field defending. These, bo these six skills uh, mentioned in your physical and health and physical education book. Mr. Robert Walter. Mr. Robert Walter, who introduced volleyball to Sri Lanka. He was born on June 13, 1974 in Bangkok, Thailand. His love of volleyball began his successful coaching career. He died in the year of 2019. Let us pay our attention on 
is spiking. Is spiking. Please look at the video. Also known as the spike is usually the third contact a team makes with the ball. The object of attacking is to hand the ball so that it makes it land on the opponent's court and cannot be defended. A player must make a series of steps to approach, jump and swing at the ball. A spiking is kill. Hitting the ball straight over the net which drifts towards the opposite side. A spiking has three stages. They are approach, take off, hitting and landing. Okay children, how we are going to improve this spiking skill? Practice for spiking. Toss the ball and hit the upper part of the ball hard. Toss the ball, then jump and hit hard. Jump and hit the ball over the net. Jump and hit the ball over the net with the help of your friend. He should toss the ball. Factors to be considered when is spiking. The ball should not be caught or thrown. You can't hit the ball while the ball is in the opposite side. The ball should land on the other side. The back row players can't spike. The liberal player also can't spike. Yeah, I want to tell you one thing children liberal player who is liberal player the liberal uh, liberal player is the additional player in a team right there are 12 players in a single uh, side of a volleyball game but only six players can play right what the liberal player does the liberal player receive the ball he can receive the ball right instead of a spiker he does this task and also the libero player can't spike also he can't block the ball please remember it okay children now we are going to study about blocking blocking look at the video please Okay children, how we are going to improve this blocking skill? Look at the video again. Penetration over the net. I'd like Jill to have her arms extended over the net at the hitter's contact so they can contact the ball on the other side of the Blocking. What is blocking? Obstructing the ball coming from the opposite side when it is above the net by the front row players before it enters. Blocking techniques. In your textbook, there are four uh, blocking techniques have been mentioned clearly. What are they? Preparation, then approach, then taking off or touching the ball. Finally, landing. Practice for blocking. 
hold the ball with both hands and raise the hands and bend the hand at the wrist. Then make the ball fall fast on to the ground. Next, hold the ball in one hand and keep that hand raised from a side and ask your friend to jump up a little and make the ball fall on to the ground like previous activity. Next, one should stand at the back of the court and send the ball over the net and other block the ball. Factors to be considered when blocking. The blocker should not touch the ball that is in the opponent's side before an opponent hit the ball. Blocker's hand should not be placed over the top level of the net before the ball has been spiked by an opponent. Backline players can't block the ball. Okay children, now we have come to the conclusion. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson very much. So, we can see at the next lesson. Until then, have a nice time. Bye bye.